Nicole Teacher from Empire English and this lesson is very simple. It's about the word enough and I want you to pay attention so that you understand how to avoid making a mistake with the word enough. As I said, today's lesson is very simple. Here are the two mistakes explained very quickly. The first mistake is sometimes I hear people saying too enough, T-O-O -O, enough. Don't say that. You want to say I have more than enough. For example, here I have four teacups or four coffee mugs. You might say coffee mugs, but these are four cups or four mugs. And I only have one friend coming over today, so therefore I have more than enough. Two of us will be drinking tea, therefore two would be enough. It's just enough. And if you hear that expression, oh, we have just enough, that's the exact amount that you need. So enough means a sufficient amount. I can just say I have enough mugs. I have enough cups. I don't have to say I have more than enough. I can use that expression when I want to express that we have plenty. And that is the other expression you can use. You can say we have plenty. It could be about countable objects like cups or mugs, or it could be for uncountable. So I have some water and and I have more than enough. <laughs> I have plenty of water and I have more than enough water to last me for the next 30 minutes. But I don't have to say I have plenty. I don't have to say I have more than enough. I can just say I have enough water or I have water. So sometimes I ask myself, why don't we say these expressions to enough? sounds like it makes sense. It sounds logical, but actually there is another video explaining the word too. And then if you watch that video, which will be coming soon, then you will understand why we don't use the word too in that situation. So number one, don't say too enough. Now on to number two, that is don't say no enough. Sometimes I hear people say that accidentally, and that will also be a separate video explaining when to use no and when to use not. So in the case of enough, we use the word not. So if I had five people coming to my home, I would need more cups. I would need more mugs. I would not have enough. I could say, I don't have enough or I don't have enough cups. I don't have enough mugs. Or I could say there are not enough. There are not enough cups or mugs to make the tea for my guests. So just remember those expressions, um, not enough or don't have enough. I really hope that you have enjoyed today's lesson and you can always find further explanation of my YouTube videos by becoming a free member at NicoleTeacher.com and you can sign up for my newsletter where you will receive PDFs explaining these lessons and giving some further details and some examples of how they can be used. I hope that you have enough time to study English today and always and I really, really welcome your comments below. Take care from Empire English and Nicole Teacher. Bye-bye.